Okay, let's take a quick recap of our learning objectives. In the first video, we learnt what are pathogens, and these are bacteria, fungi, and viruses. We then took a look at how the different types of pathogens cause disease. In our last video, we looked at how our body stops pathogens getting in, and also the three types of transmission where pathogens will try and get into your body. This video is going to focus on how do white blood cells protect us from disease. So let's take a look at our white blood cell. This here is a white blood cell, just in case you're wondering. And he is in amongst some red blood cells there. What is a white blood cell? Well, a white blood cell is a specialized cell, and they roam around our body searching for pathogens. And when they find them, they will attempt to destroy them or protect our body from disease. Now these are my two drawings of one, trying to look like that white blood cell. They do come in different shapes and sizes, so it's important to know that these are white blood cells. Now let's take a look at the first method that these cells use to protect us from pathogens. And that there is antitoxins. Now an antitoxin is the opposite to a toxin. So if you remember, when an E. coli cell enters our body, it reproduces very quickly. And all of these E. coli cells can produce toxins. And the toxins are what cause damage to our body and cause disease. So the white blood cell protects us from these toxins by producing what are known as antitoxins. And those are these shapes up here. Now, as the white blood cell detects pathogens, it will start producing these antitoxins. And these antitoxins won't destroy the pathogen, but they will be amongst them. So as the pathogen produces these toxins which will cause damage, which are going to be represented by these red squiggly lines, they will eventually interact with the antitoxins, and as you can see after a few seconds, they will be neutralized and they will disappear so the toxins will not cause harm to the body. So that is method one. White blood cells produce antitoxins, which protect, which protects us from toxins. So how else do they protect our body from disease? Well, the second method employed by white blood cells is what I think is the best, and this is known as ingestion. And for ingestion, we will use our fried egg white blood cell here. That's not its proper name, by the way. So, this pathogen has entered our body, and he is roaming around, trying to reproduce, trying to cause some damage. Now, unfortunately for him, he has come into contact with this white blood cell. Now, during ingestion, the white blood cell will ingest this pathogen and this is how it does it. So first of all, it comes into contact with the pathogen. Now if I then draw a picture, so this is slightly a bit further ahead after some time, the white blood cell starts to behave like Pac-Man and it ingests the pathogen. So it starts to envelop it there. And as you can see, it's slowly being absorbed into the white blood cell. Now, if I go further ahead in time, eventually, that white blood cell will have completely absorbed this pathogen. And what it does then is it will release enzymes into the space where it has captured this pathogen. So enzymes.
So the white blood cell releases enzymes, and over time, these will break down and destroy the pathogen inside the white blood cell. Eventually, only the building blocks of the pathogen are left, and these can be safely released back into the human body when they're not going to cause any harm. So number two, the second way our body is protected from pathogens by white blood cells is ingestion. Now the third and final way is by the production of antibodies. So this pathogen again has entered our body and this white blood cell will try to protect us by producing antibodies. Now antibodies take quite a, a long time to produce if the body has not encountered this type of pathogen before. So as you can see here, on the surface of this bacteria cell are triangular shapes. Now these are called antigens. And every bacteria cell will have a slightly different shape of antigen. And it is the job of the white blood cell to figure out what shape of antigen this particular pathogen has. And it will do that by producing antibodies. And eventually it will produce an antibody which will bind to the antigens found on this pathogen. And when they bind to these antigens, the antibodies will destroy the pathogen. So the third method of defense from white blood cells is the production of antibodies. So let's quickly recap. Antitoxins will neutralize any toxins produced by a pathogen. During ingestion, the white blood cell will ingest the pathogen and destroy it, and the production of antibodies will bind to antigens and destroy the pathogen. That is the three ways that white blood cells protect our bodies from pathogens and disease. And finally, we will look at how did similes change the way we look at disease.